Hey, this is Will, and today I've got something special for you. A transformative strategy that will shatter all bad habits and conquer any addictions. A strategy that I've lived and breathed, and I'm convinced that this will be a game changer for you as well. Do you ever find yourself struggling to stay consistent in life? Maybe you take a couple steps forward in the right direction, but then you end up falling back into old habits. Me too, my friend. But the magic lies in being consciously aware on why we fall into these traps. Many of us in society, myself included, we live in line with these two principles. One, avoid pain, suffering, and discomfort. Two, seek comfort and pleasure. It is living in line with these two principles unconsciously that will give birth to all bad addictions and detrimental habits. And today I'm gonna to spend a little bit of time diving into these loop patterns and provide a solution that has worked for myself and I'm confident will work for you as well. But before we dive into it, my kryptonite vaping. What started off as just some casual puffs while I was having a few drinks with the boys turned into a 24 hour obsession, especially during the pandemic. Picture this, I used to run live demos, a hundred eyes on me, and I couldn't even last 15 minutes without taking a puff. I used to make up an excuse partially through the demo. I used to say my throat was a little bit itchy, I'm gonna grab some water. I used to turn my screen off, grab this vape, have a few puffs, before turning my screen back on and continuing that demo. That's how bad things got for me at one point. What causes that feeling of discomfort that you want to avoid so badly so you go and seek that comfort? To understand more, you must first understand your ego. Your ego is basically who you believe you are right now. It's that sense of self that you've constructed. And the ego, yeah, it's got one responsibility and that is self-preservation. It wants to make sure that this identity that you've constructed continues to stay the same. And it does this by keeping you in your comfort zone. You must be so aware of this as this is the first step to understanding why these bad habits get triggered. You see, it actually stems from survival. You see, us humans, we're very complex creatures. Survival is no longer just about food and shelter. It's about this entire identity that you've constructed for yourself. So when your identity that you've constructed senses a little bit of discomfort, it will subconsciously start to veer towards comfort. And this is how all bad habits and all addictions spawn. But being aware of this, this is the first step to unlocking that potential so you can surrender that habit. This is how the trigger starts. Your ego senses a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of pain, a little bit of suffering. So it wants to latch on to some comfort, latch on to some pleasure. And this is subconsciously how it latches on to bad habits and addictions because that's where the comfort lies. And that's how it maintains that identity that you've constructed for yourself. You must first grasp what I've just said around ego. Rewind this section. You have to understand this first part before you move on to the solution. So we're gonna dive into this three-step solution. Step one, make a bold decision right now. You must make a bold decision right now to give up this bad habit, whatever X is for you. If you can't make this first step, then don't even watch the rest of this video because you lack self-discipline, you lack self-respect, and that's pretty much the end of it. You don't have to watch the end of this video. If you can't make that first decision, if this identity that you constructed wants to stay the same, then I'm sorry. Don't bother moving on to the next step. However, that's the first step. You have to make that conscious, bold decision that you're ready to surrender that identity, that bad habit, that part of yourself that is no longer aligned with your values. Step two, awareness and acceptance. When that urge strikes, when you get that feeling of discomfort, I want you to pause and recognize that that feeling discomfort is basically an ego's defense mechanism. It doesn't like to feel uncomfortable. So from survival, from self-preservation, it's gonna to try to seek a quick fix solution. For some of us, we may be able to stand there and remain unfazed by this. But for the most of us, especially someone who's indulged in this bad habit for a very long time, I want you to proceed with the bad habit anyway. But this time, you're gonna do it consciously. For example, if I was to already make a bold decision that I was gonna quit vaping, and I get that sense of discomfort, I will pick up the vape. This time, instead of just subconsciously puffing on this vape, I will remind myself that this is not something I wanna do, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I lack self-discipline. So I'm gonna go ahead and just puff on this vape, be very conscious that this is not what I wanna do, and slowly over time, your mind will start to rewire itself and you will start to be repulsed by this habit. In most people, when we fall into a bad habit, it is completely unconscious. We do it because that's the reward. It's, it's the identity that you've constructed for yourself. But if that's not the identity you want and you be firm about it, what will happen? 
over time through repetitions is every time you proceed with that bad habit and you don't want to do it, your mind will start to rewire itself. And over a long enough period, you will start to be repulsed by this bad habit. Step three, the surrender, the ego meditation. Only proceed with step three if step one and two doesn't work for you. So just a little bit more about the ego surrender. So your ego is basically layers among layers of habits, worldviews, paradigms, biases, society, culture, family, all interconnectedly woven together, which then penetrates into this present moment, which is the identity that you've constructed for yourself. And you see, sometimes some of these layers may not be serving you. So as part of setting the intention for this surrender the ego meditation, you must bring to your mind, what is that part of yourself that is no longer serving you, that you wanna surrender? And that is the intention you go into this breathwork meditation session. And I'll put a link to that session in the link below. And there you have it folks, the three-step solution to break any addiction and any bad habit. And it's what Centrist Sets is gonna be about. It's gonna be about being consciously aware that you might be living in your comfort zone right now, that red zone, that orange zone. And to start to push yourself harder every single day so you start living on your edge, so you can finally manifest the best version of yourself. To be the best version of yourself, you must live life every single day consciously. Be aware of the things you're doing every single day on repeat that is detrimental to your health, to your life. Bring to the surface and surrender that part of yourself that's no longer serving you. And that's what Century Sets is about. It's about being consciously aware of where you wanna to get to, seeking pleasure and avoiding pain, discomfort. And it's counterintuitive because to be the best version of yourself, you actually need to do, flip the switch completely. You need to be waking up every day, seeking pain, seeking suffering, and avoiding comfort, avoiding pleasure. And this is how you become the best version of yourselves. And then we're all gonna make it boys and girls. Repetitions we take every single day. We're all on a journey. Let's respect everyone's journey for being where they're at. Thank you for watching. Peace.